Hi, my name is Jeff Skinner and I wanted to say a few words on the ASTP Student IP Masterclass that I'm running on the 24th of September. Now this is a fringe, almost esoteric topic, but it's one that's always intrigued me. And why is this? Well, over the years I've thought a great deal about the issue. Many years ago I wrote the policy for University College London, which involved doing loads of research on other universities' policies, most of which were either unfair, unenforceable or ambiguous. Later, I volunteered for the task force that resulted in Autumn's primer on student IP, which now forms part of the Autumn Manual. More recently, I helped define the criteria that resulted in a student IP policy league table, which ranks universities on the friendliness of their policies. But most importantly, for years I've been leading workshops for early career researchers all over Europe and beyond, Almost every session, an early career researcher takes me aside to talk about some other, some or other dreadful experience they're having extracting IP from their host university. But it's really not one-sided. Speak to the TTOs, and I do frequently, and they'll tell me that students just don't get it, and that they ask for impossible terms, or that previous disasters have led them to treat students the same as staff, as a condition of even registering as a student. The underlying problem is that both sides have unusual power. The university can withhold the IP. The researcher or student can decide not to commercial it. There's ambiguity often over the uh, ownership of the IP. Stalemate and the tragedy of IP gone to waste. Now there has to be a middle ground and my ambition for this masterclass is to unpick the issues and set out a, a, the elements of a policy that doesn't get in the way of energetic students or cause the university downstream headaches. But there's more than this. Student IP is just an extreme example of more general IP policies in a university and because it's a, such a special case it exposes and amplifies deeper dysfunctionality in IP policies and processes. Crack this and you're well on the way to a general understanding of IP management in universities and why academics so often think that we get in the way and stop good stuff happening. The session itself comprises a couple of juicy cases, discussion on why it's a complex issue, how different types of students should be treated differently, and, and finishes, I hope, with a, a common understanding, a common approach to the elements of a, a good IP policy. Now, this is a one-off masterclass. If it's a topic that interests you, then this will be your only chance to discuss with, with me and with like-minded TTO. So if it grabs you, sign up and sign up soon. Thanks very much.